In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix and optimize Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban for the PC. This video is for educational purposes only. I'll be going over how to get the game running on modern day Windows, like Windows 10 and 11, how to get the game up to your desired resolution, such as 4K, how to change the frame rate so the game no longer has game breaking bugs, how to set up your own desired field of view, why the fire crab texture bug happens, and also how to turn debug mode on in the game to start off with getting the game to launch on modern day Windows. You can install the game perfectly on Windows like normal however if you try to run it it will not work this is due to the fact that the game has a DRM called safe disk safe disk is no longer supported on modern day windows and therefore the game will break if you try to launch it the way to get around this issue is to get a no CD crack in order for this to work due to legal reasons I can't provide you with this once you have got your no CD crack you will need to do the following in order to make sure that the game actually launches correctly and doesn't launch in a small window box like it normally will do if you have a higher resolution you simply need to go to where your game is installed then when you get to there go to the system folder and then once you're inside here find your hppoa.exe file right click it click on properties come to compatibility and then come down to change high dpi settings and click this box then come down and tick this box down here which says override high dpi scaling behavior tick that and then set this drop down to application and then click ok once you've done all the bits you need you just click apply and ok before we begin editing anything you will need to make sure that you have at least run the game once. The reason you need to do this is to make sure that we have the files that we need to edit created. Once you've done that, come and open a file explorer and then come to your documents folder where you should find a folder called Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Inside of this folder you should then find two files that we need to edit which is the hppoa.ini and the user.ini. For the time being we're going to focus on the hppoa.ini file so open that up. Once the file opens up like so you just want to make sure and check this bit before you go any further further which is if you come down to this heading here engine.engine .engine, you should see underneath it there is this line here which is the render device equals d3d driv make sure that the front of this does not have a semicolon in front of it if it does delete that you want to make sure that there is no semicolon in front of this line because this is your dedicated graphics card and you want to make sure the game runs under that after that you want to press ctrl f on your keyboard this will bring up a search box like so you want to enter into the search box what I have written here for anything that involves the search box I will have what is written in the box down in the description in the pinned comments you can just copy and paste it into the box once you've got what you need in there simply click find next this will take you down to this heading here there are a couple of things that we need to edit inside of here so we're going to go over these one at a time the first two lines we're going to focus on are full screen viewport x and full screen viewport y as you can see at the end of this we currently have two resolution values you're going to want to enter into these bits your resolution I'm putting in 4k here so I'm going to put in the following which is 3840 by 2160. The next two lines we're going to focus on are the two lines underneath that, which is menu viewport X and menu viewport Y. Again, put in your desired resolution at the end of this. So for me, that is 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. You then want to come down to these two lines here, which is min desired frame rate and min reinstated detailed frame rate. It's your choice what frame rate you want to use when you play this. I want to make it very clear though that if you put this game above 120 frames, it will break. So do not do it because you will run into problems. I also want to add here that I have played this game with 120 frames recently all the way through and the only issues that I have run into are to do with the portraits that you get from Fred and George's shop. This also I did test on 60 frames and ran into the same issue on that as well so I think this is just an issue across the board. This issue is basically when you have the portrait password if you walk up to the portrait and say it the portrait won't open up properly. There are three ways to get around this if it is a problem for you like it is for me. First make sure that you don't have have any of the NPCs standing in front of it because if you do then it causes problems with it opening and it will never open properly. Second thing you can do is you can do a run up towards the portrait. I also recommend doing a run up and heading to the sides of the portrait as that seems to make it open a lot more frequently than going straight head on. You also might need to be persistent with this and keep running up to it multiple times before it will actually open up properly. And the third and final thing you can do if you're really having issues and it's just not going to open at all is to use debug mode which of course I'll be going over later on in the video where you can just use ghost mode to fly through the portrait opening bit and just load up the level that way. Once you've decided what frame rate you want to play the game at just put it into those areas like so. So for me I'm going for 120 as you can see at the end of both of those lines. Once again press ctrl f on your keyboard. This will once again bring up the search box like so. Enter in this search term into the search box and click find next. This will take you to this heading down here. For the first line we're going to edit in this area is the desired refresh rate. Again you need to put this into whatever frame rate you chose earlier on. So for 
me this will be 120. The next line we need to focus on which is very important is the USB sync. By default when you first load up this game this should be on false. You want to make sure that this is always true. If you do not have this set to true then this game will break no matter what. So you want to make sure that you enter in the vsync equals true like so. Once you've entered in everything you can now either press ctrl s on your keyboard or you can come up to the top here where it says file click that and then click save. The next thing we're going to set up is the field of view. So if you go to your documents folder in file explorer and then harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban and come over to the other ini file which is called user.ini open it up once you open up the user ini file if you then just scroll all the way down to the very bottom you'll come down to this section here called engine.playercontroller and what you'll see here is desired field of view and default field of view just for everyone's info here i know in the past some people told me on my previous video that they didn't even have this bit show up here in the ini file that's not a problem if that does happen to you go down in the description and the pinned comment of this video and just copy what I have put in there which is this entire bit right here and just copy and paste it into this file where I've got it here like so. As for the field of view number this is entirely up to you and your preference. I personally have mine set to this 115. It's entirely up to you what you set it to and then once you've done that you simply just again come up to file save or you can do a control s. You could go and play the game right now but what would happen is you would have a lot of game breaking bugs. However there is a way to fix this that is actually in my opinion the best method currently available in order to fix this compared to what I had in my old video which is very outdated now. If you go down into the description and the pinned comment you will find a link to this website here which is github. Now first of all just want to give a massive shout out and thank you to Crossire for actually creating this file for everyone. This works on multiple games by the way not just HB3. So at the time of this video this is version 1.12. This will be updated later on I'm sure. Whatever version it is that's the latest version you want to come down and simply click this file here the d3d8.dll and save that into your downloads for the time being or wherever you like on your pc so once you've downloaded that file it should look a little like this right here this is it in my downloads folder as you can see you will now want to copy this exact file into your hp3 system folder so once you get to your harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban install location you want to go into your system folder here and then you just want to simply copy and paste this file in like so and as you can see i've copied it in and it's now in here just sitting at the bottom there and now if you were to open the game and play it you should be absolutely fine and the game should actually be a stable frame rate for whatever you set it to and all the game breaking problems such as the imp or the glacius exam challenge platform bit where it just didn't work properly are no longer an issue when you put this file in and you do all the frame rate stuff inside the ini file as well as turn on the vsync little thing i want to add in here which i don't think is very common knowledge for most people is the fire crab texture bug i want to thank metallica fan for pointing this out because i actually wasn't aware of what was causing this in the first place so he has actually pointed out what is causing it so thank you to him for that if you load up a save game or if you use the bookmark system and load into a level then sometimes you might notice that the fire crabs will look a bit like this this is supposedly the default texture that is loaded onto them and this is why they look like this if you were to play the game normally and never load up a save game then you shouldn't ever run into this which is why i've probably not noticed it sometimes when i've just played through this all in one go and never seen it if you do load up a save game game at some point then you will probably notice this sometimes on that specific level you've loaded up which has fire crabs in it not all the fire crabs are guaranteed to look like this might just be some of them it might be all of them potentially it's kind of a bit random next i'll show you how to turn on the debug mode inside the game so in order to do this you'll need to open up a file explorer go to documents harry potter and the prison of azkaban and open up the user.ini file once again once you open up the file like so just scroll down like so until you get to the area where there are numbers like this as you can see i've already put some bits in here but this is what i recommend you put in as well ghost and walk are very simple ghost basically allows you to go into effectively a no clip mode where you can go through walls and look outside the maps and then of course walk is an option so that you can get out of ghost mode and go back to normal walking like you should be in the game as usual the other part in here that i've set to number three is how you turn on the debug mode so if you're in game and you push the number three right now then you'd be able to use the debug mode to do all manner of commands so for example i could push the tab button and put in ghost which will then put me into ghost mode of course where i can go through the walls and fly everywhere and then i could also push tab again and type in walk so then i can walk around once more the other option you have here is to press the f2 button and this will bring up all manner of commands that you can use now i haven't looked through all of these personally but i mean if you want to play around and do some crazy stuff then feel free to do so just to show off an example of what you can do here i've turned off the static meshes now inside this bit so as you can see the whole of Hogwarts is a bit of 
bit plain and barren. So yes, use this menu to muck around and do whatever you wish inside the game, really. Otherwise, that's all there is to this video. If you guys need any help at all, don't be afraid to leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, if you need any other guides on how to fix any other game on PC, then I'll have links to that down in the description as well as the pinned comments. You can go and check out all those. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next video.